So this program that I found here is free for you to create your storyboards or you can create your animatics. So for our purposes, because you've already created your storyboards, we're going to look at the animatic. So when you click here and you get download for free, it's going to ask you for your email. You're going to put that in and it's going to send you the link depending on the program. Once you have that and you have installed it, you're then going to get this. Once you have done that, you're going to create a new storyboard and then you will create a blank storyboard. All right. And again, 16 HD because you want more of the rectangular format. You will save it on a, in a location. So I'm going to name this uh, testing animatic. Or you can also put your story title as well that you are doing this on. So whatever the name of your story title is, then you can put that as your name. So once you've done that, it's going to open up. And this is what it's going to look like. So one of the things that you want to do first is you want to import your panels that you've already cropped. So you can go to file, import images to new board. Now, if you have named your file and numbered them, then it should work in a sequential order. So I'm going to go to where I have my panels. All right. And you should have 12. I'm going to pull the four that I have and I'm going to place it in. So you should have 12 panels going across. Now, this is going to happen. You're going to have a blank one. You can probably give it a name, uh, the name of your story here. But if you wanted to get rid of an extra panel, you can all, always click on it and then delete. And it then is going to get rid of that particular panel. So once you've done that and you have all of them, you do not want each one of them to be the same uh, transition time. You're going to then go to timeline and you can adjust the panel length or the time of it, meaning when does the time of each scene happen. So it should not be the same for each one. One might be longer, one might be shorter and so forth. So I'll leave this at two. And then I'll leave this at one. So you should have a min a maximum of, let's say, 20 seconds for your animatic. But it should not be 12 seconds. So I can test this out, go to my first panel, and then I can let it run to get an idea of what is going on. Once we have that and we like what we see, then we can go to File. Uh, export video we don't want a video or we don't want an an animated gif because that is going to loop and it's just going to keep looping until forever whereas this one we wanted to start from the beginning and then end uh, at the last frame so once we do that um it should give me an exported file that it has created. All right, so once we have that, you're going to get this and then you're going to rename your file. So when I play it, so when it's played, it's based off of. So I would suggest that you make sure and you test your timeline to see if the flow make sense. It should not run through it, but it also should make sense based off of the actions that's happening. I hope that helps.